I wanted to get into advising because that was going to be quite a new challenge for me. It was something that I hadn't done before. I think I was just sort of searching on the web and came across Citizens Advice. I'd never really thought about it before that, but um, contacted Pam that does the training and there was a training course coming up quite soon, so I got onto that. I arrived to Scotland to, to study and I had some questions myself. Uh, so I came for advice for the first time and then online I just browsed and found the, the option of volunteering. Applied and got accepted. I think I just felt grateful for, for the guys who helped me and I thought it would be pretty useful for, for someone else. I retired from full-time employment a couple of years ago and I was looking for a new challenge and uh, something to keep my brain occupied and also maybe be able to help other people as well. So I knew about the Citizens Advice Bureau and it always, it always, it always appealed to me, so I had just applied and I went on a, a course, a training course, in September to December and then since then I've been in this office two days, a, two half days a week uh, trying to help people. I just volunteered, did my advisor's training last summer and uh, worked at Pilton for about six months or so. Loved it. Loved it. I would definitely recommend getting involved for a start because it's been a really, I've really enjoyed um, volunteering here. Um, it's been a really good experience. The training's really good and you actually learn a lot. It's actually really enjoyable. Um, I really enjoy the challenge. Every day I learn something different. They're quite flexible and you can do it to fit in with what, what else you're doing with your life. I mean on a personal level I'd say that I've got obviously experience from um, working with IT. So now I've actually got some experience and I can actually put that on my CV and use that to actually get a, get a proper job. It looks really good on your CV. Me personally, I get a lot of satisfaction from helping people. Besides the experience and, and the feeling of being involved and knowing that extra hour you normally would spend somewhere sitting watching TV can actually change someone's life. like. Sounds dramatic, but sometimes it's true. You get to put something back into the community. I think there is a realisation just now that there's more to life than, you know, just making lots of money and looking after yourself. And I think that's part of, you know, what's going on in society at the moment. There are days you come in here and you'll hear some terrible stories um, and it would break your heart. And then every now and again, something really special and the client says thanks and all the rest of it and it really makes whatever you do worthwhile. The best sense of achievement is when you can actually help a client and you actually achieve something, especially if you're helping somebody to get some extra money or to qualify for a benefit that they didn't previously get or generally to make lives better for people who otherwise quite a lot of people only come to us with the last chance, the last, they don't know what else to do and you can actually help them do something. I think the best thing about it is just if you go away feeling that you've helped someone that day. When someone comes in in a quite low mood and they go out quite a lot happier, then you know you've helped them in some way. It's an amazing sense of achievement when you help someone. It gives just great satisfaction to be able to help people with their problems. 